Certainly, you know, he was once thought of as a young prodigy and in walks Conor McGregor and kind of stole that title, obviously, from a lot of fighters. All right, we get to the tail of the tape, sponsored by Hudson Shipping, transporting innovation. Will Chope is five inches taller as far as the reach is concerned. He enters the octagon with a six-inch advantage. To get us started, here once more is Joe Martinez. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our next bout tonight. Three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter with a professional record of 19 victories and five defeats. Standing six feet, four inches tall, he weighed it officially 146 pounds. Fighting out of Maha Sarakam, Thailand, here is Will the Kid Chong. And next his opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. His professional record, seven victories and three defeats. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, he too weighed in 146 pounds even. Fighting out of Waiana, a Hawaii, USA, here is Max Blist Holloway. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts, our referee, Jessica, to get us going okay, in round, round one. Come the fighters touch him up, and we are underway. The fight clock is brought to you by Osim, Asia's number one brand in healthy lifestyle products. And immediately, we see Will Chope go for a clinch. Spinning attempt there by Holloway. And at times we've seen Max Holloway's corner be reluctant to sort of turn him loose. When they do, uh, it's been all systems go. Certainly, he can be lethal. Very versatile striker, very talented athlete, 145 pounds, but he is used to being the longer, more rangier fighter. Here he's giving up six inches of reach. We'll see how he deals with it right off the bat. We see him utilizing some good footwork and angles. He said being versatile is going to be key. We've already seen some unorthodox spinning kicks and attacks from him. And it looks like Chope has already opened up that nose of Max Holloway. Holloway entering his third year here in the UFC. As Choke lands there. There's a tie clinch attempted by Will Choke where he is vicious. A lot of his wins have come via knees in the tie clinch. And again, you know, being six foot four, 145 pounds, it's a lot of leverage to pull down your opponent's head and land those knees. You know, training at Phuket Top Team in Thailand, certainly an area he's going to be skilled at. And we talk a lot about Max Holloway as he eats an uppercut there about his success despite the youth. Will Chope still just 23 years old. Certainly. And you know, when you're giving up this much reach, you've got to use angles, you've got to use head movement and feints to cause your opponent to twitch or flinch and then steal ground, get inside to land your own combinations. Sometimes it's actually easier to attack the body and the legs first, then go upstairs to the head later in the fight. Holloway trying to get inside, but Choke lands a knee. So Holloway trying to solve this lanky Choke puzzle here early as he presses forward with the right hand. It's a nice job so far, Will Choke settling into this fight. This is his debut, but he's showcasing a lot of his MMA experience here. Settled into the fight, got to work on his game plan, which is fighting long, utilizing his jab, and when able, utilize that clinch. Not always the case when you get a young guy like Will Chope in his Octagon debut. And follows up that uppercut with a nice left cross. He's found some success in that combination. Surprised we haven't seen Holloway throw more leg kicks yet trying to chop the big man down. Every time Chope is jabbing, he's putting pressure and stepping with his lead leg, which makes it very difficult to block or address leg kicks. We'll see if Holloway notices that, and he lands his own nice knee to the body in the clinch. Holloway with more UFC experience, obviously, but Will Chope with twice as many pro fights as his Hawaiian counterpart. No takedowns attempted yet for Max Holloway. 
which allows the young choke to just focus solely here on the feet. And a beautiful spinning back kick by Holloway, who's really starting to find his rhythm. He is finding his rhythm and his range, and confidence is growing. He and landed he a nice is right. Yes, he is touching Will Choke now. You know, you talked about how Holloway, when you let him loose, and he gets a little reckless, and he's at his best. And it looks like he's got Choke hurt. Choke continues to mount some offense, but Max Holloway is getting it going now. Choke starting to swing a little wild and leave himself open. Choke continuing to employ that uppercut. Now he switches to the southpaw stance. Beautiful. Sharp left there, yeah. Beautiful counter left hook there by Holloway. He's looking for it again. Really starting to find his rhythm and his range. This is exactly where Chobe likes to get guys and use his levers to control him here and slow down the pace of the fight. Very smart by Will Chobe. He was rocked about 30 seconds ago, grind down the pace of the fight, wear out the arms of Holloway a little bit here, buy himself some time. Nice knee to the body for Holloway, allows him to escape off the fence. He lands another nice counter left hook as well. Now Holloway getting those hands going. He was patient early and now starting to pour it on. Beautiful right hand again. Excellent adjustments made by Max Holloway in the middle of this round. And Looking down goes the Choke. Saved by the bell is Will Choke. Choke is still hurt. I think that last knee to the body hurt him and Holloway walks to his corner very confident. Welcome to the UFC, young man. <laughs> about it. He's dropping his hands, okay? Let's throw that jab out there. Follow Move. through with the kicks. Bro, that was your round. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Head up, head up. Boom, you're good, man. That was beautiful. 10-9, all you, man. 10-9, all you. He stopped him, he hurt him. He knows now. Excellent use of the knees, okay? But now, we hurt him to the head a little bit, we gotta go downstairs, okay? Go downstairs, stick him to the body, and you go back up to the head, okay? Now you got your range now, okay? Now you got your timing, okay? Now you take those angles. Okay, we settled them down. You know what to expect now. Right? Make him fight you. Keep stuffing those takedowns. Right. You're gonna make him stand with That's you. It. Beautiful That's barrage of punch there by Holloway to end the round. Really found his range and his rhythm there at the end. And you can see he started to follow back the punches of Will Choke. Will Choke would throw a jab and Holloway would follow him back with yeah. a straight or overhand right. Hey, second round, you ready to fight? You ready to fight? Right now, come on. So Will Chobe started round one strong, a little wide-eyed on the stool in between rounds one and two. And he did not look confident, even though he may have won the majority of the round, not sure he got the nod on the scorecards with the heavy blows landed in the last two minutes by Max Holloway. Holloway's power certainly earning the respect of Will Chobe. And Holloway's corner said they wanted him to start attacking downstairs. You see a nice front kick to the lead knee of Will Chobe there. Holloway again landed one of those front sides like a side kick. And a beautiful barrage of punches followed by a knee. Nice job following up that combination with that power knee to the body. And Choke in trouble once again. Nice wizard and takedown defense by Max Holloway. And he is pouring it on the youngster now. He smelled good. Oh, beautiful spinning back kick to the body. How is Chope still standing? So Max Holloway throwing it all at Will Chope now, who's showing off some toughness and a nice chin and trying to mount some offense of his own. He's got to be careful. He's throwing these desperate punches, leaving himself wide open, and Holloway is capitalizing. Holloway looking to mute that 14-fight winning streak of Will Chope here. Well, now Holloway's got to be careful he doesn't punch himself out. So an exciting fight here in a most exciting UFC featherweight division. Smart takedown attempt here, but look how high the hips of Will Chope are. Very difficult to finish a takedown against a cage when your hips are that high. This is allowing Chope some time to recover. And Holloway too. Exactly, will benefit him most likely more. Progression there, guys, I'll break you up. Come on. <laughs> Leon Roberts calling for action. 
Brooke Finesse put you up. You know, this is smart at choke right now. He really doesn't have the gas and he's trying to recover, just grind on the pace of the fight. This is exactly where he doesn't want to be. A beautiful combination to body shot with Max Holloway. Max Holloway! With the TKO victory over Will Chope and look good doing it. Wait, it was the body shot at the end of that combination that, that finished Will Chope. Great performance by Max Holloway. His team from Oahu goes 3-0 tonight. And you know, an interesting challenge, just given the length of Will Chope, uh, the diversity of his striking, Max Holloway rising above it here tonight to get his fourth career UFC win. And Holloway struggled with it in the first two minutes of round number one, made some adjustments, and really did a nice job of counterattacking, getting inside on the taller Will Chope. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the strong, buddy. And we mentioned turning Max Holloway loose, but nice to see him exude some patience early on and some nice sportsmanship there as he shows his battered opponent to the crowd. And here you can see the combinations in that beautiful spinning back and rarely do you see it thrown when you're that, that close to your opponent. And Holloway just very intelligent Goes to the body there to finish Will Chope. Such a seasoned striker, really gaining experience, and is still so young in his mixed martial arts career. So for Max Holloway, his seventh UFC appearance, and he gets his fourth career UFC win. All right, for the official decision, we go inside the octagon to Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time. In two minutes, 27 seconds, round number two, referee Leon Roberts puts a halt to the contest. Stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO victory from Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! I'm here with your winner, Max Holloway. Max, it looked like the range and the length of your opponent confused you a little bit early in round one. What adjustments did you make to then go on and finish him with strikes in round two? Well, first and foremost, I gotta thank my Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Today, my son Rush, he makes two happy birthdays, son. Daddy loves you. Let's get a bonus check for him, John. Woo! And uh, the first round, it was tough. I didn't know he was gonna be that long, you know. Uh, he was hitting me with some good shots. I felt some of them I had to bite down and uh, I had to persevere. God give his touches, battles to his tougher shoulders. Shoulders. So, you gotta hand it to him. You attack the body very well, and you show they're gonna see in the replay a spinning back fist from such close range. Talk us through this replay. <laughs> you know, I, 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 uh, one of my Twitter fans, they told me they wanted to see the spinning, spinning back kick, so I wanted to do it. Well, Max, impressive performance. Take a look at your handiwork here in the finish. Head and body shots. Welcoming the youngster to the UFC. Great performance. Look forward to having you back. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Holloway. A big victory for Max Holloway. Exciting fight. Back and forth it went, but eventually Max Holloway breaks Will Chope, and he breaks up that 14 fight winning streak. So that'll do it for the UFC Fight Night prelims. Keep it here, though. Coming up straight ahead, the main card and our main event, Tarek Sapodin and Lim Hyun Gyu.